Hello and welcome everybody to this Azure Synapse Espresso. I'm joined here today by Bogdan and we have a treat for you. So Bogdan, please introduce yourself. Hello everybody, I'm happy to be here. My name is Bogdan Kibbutz and I'm the VP for Synapse Analytics at Microsoft. Cool. Now, what we're going to talk to about, what we're going to talk about today is basically like we've got Synapse, we've got Fabric. Will Fabric now replace Synapse? So what is going to happen? Bogdan, can you please answer that question? Synapse is there to stay. Synapse is not going away. Fabric is Think of it as an operating system for analytics on Azure. It's, it's basically a system that is shared by multiple uh, analytic applications, by multiple engines. Synapse is one of the, the applications that are working on top of Fabric, so is Power BI, so is data integration. So no, Fabric is not replacing Synapse, Fabric is making Synapse better. Awesome. And, but we've got we've got this whole new SQL engine now. So will that replace dedicated SQL pools? How is it going to work? That will replace SQL dedicated pools. In fact, in Synapse today on the market, we have two SQL engines. We have the serverless engine, which is very flexible. It can scale up and down. It works on open formats. And then we have the dedicated engine, which is very very powerful, but it works on dedicated uh, on a proprietary format, and it's not as elastic in scaling up and down. So we are merging the best of serverless engine and the best of dedicated capacity, and we constructing a new SQL engine from scratch using uh, components uh, taken from, from the other engines and this engine is going to replace uh, it's going to be the only Synapse SQL. Okay and how is it actually working that engine? It's uh, actually it's really interesting the way it works uh, we are kind of picking the best of all the tools so first we are reading the parquet files directly into the uh, columnar store uh, index with a bit of magic that is called transcoder we look at the data, whether in the warehouse or one lake, in a lake house or any other asset, and we are trying to compute statistics, very rich statistics. And this is interesting because we can leverage uh, 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 distribution algorithms such as the z-ordering that is used by Spark, or the hive partitions that is also used by Spark, but also the hash partitions that are used by uh, hash distribution that are used by the data warehouse. So regardless how your data is laid out in the lake, we will discover the statistics, we will understand how to split your data into small chunks, and then we are going to use the magic of the the Polaris distributed query processor, which is powering already the uh, the serverless system, and is the first query processor that went all the way to one petabyte in TPCH. We are going to use that query processor on top of data. Whether it's coming from a warehouse or a lake house, it doesn't matter. You can join now your warehouse and your lake house. So truly, you are getting the best of both worlds. And also, if you want to know more about that Polaris, we will put the white paper in the description as well. Um, so basically, we've we've, we've with Fabric, we, we get the best of, of the whole data warehousing world now. Um, That's exactly what we have. We have the first transactional engine, full transactional engine. I mean, you can go there, say, begin transaction, insert into one table, insert into a different table, roll back or commit, and uh, uh, everything happens on top of open uh, format files. All yeah. your data is going to be in Parquet, queryable by any engine that can read Parquet. It's really incredible. So thank you very much for joining me today, Bodam. Um, if you've liked this video and, and, and you want to see more of this content, just give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions for me or for Bogdan, just write them in the comments. We'll definitely get back to you. And if you like to see more of this type of content, just subscribe to this, to this channel and um, you'll see more of this Fabric content. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Bye-bye.